Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Right. Uh compliments of the season to all our viewers and listeners wherever you are uh, watching it from uh, in this season when it's expected that we we'll focus on um, sharing messages of goodwill and also reaching out to one another and sharing the love of Christ um, a number of which are comparing us or comparing me on behalf of Patriotic Fund to speak to. One, it is uh, very shocking that uh, a minister who has uh, been caught in another scandal after the first one where the president shielded and covered it, uh, which regardless of what the Zambian people say, the different stakeholders say, in demanding that uh, the due process is undertaken and the investigations are, are undertaken by law enforcers, the president decided to make a declaration that you're satisfied by the explanation by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. This time around, a scandal that uh, would have warranted the president directing law enforcers to follow through. Now we're getting a report that the president has decided to sign on it. Does that imply that the president, when it comes to UPND officials and those of uh, his members of cabinet and his government, he is going to be the police, he's going to be the SEC, he's going to be the drug enforcement, a commission and therefore they cannot move unless he has done his investigation and come to a conclusion whether or not there's a, an offense there. And uh, as it has always been, whenever the UPND, starting with the president, has been caught pants down in their corrupt activities, they always create a, a, dis a disruption or destruction. In this case, they have hatched a, a plan to try and go and raid the former president's residence, suggesting that there are materials and articles, uh, seditious and otherwise, that they are, want to suggest they are looking for. We know there's nothing there. We know that they have found him as, as an easy tool uh, they would want to use to divert attention from real issues that the Zambian people are focused on. During this season, it has been very telling that the economy truly has affected the people of Zambia deeply. They have failed to celebrate their Christmas. They don't know how they are going to cross into the crossover into the new year. Schools will be opening in a few weeks. People are having high blood pressure because there's no really money or hope for them to generate income to pay for school fees. This so-called uh, uh, free education that they boast about is only up to a certain stage in terms of uh, grades. But even then, we know uh, the challenges that this has come with. The people of Zambia have been, have been tortured, they continue to be tortured. Beyond that, we are having instances like um, you know, police harassing our member of parliament for Chitambo, Honorable Member Mutale, Chanda Mutale who from the time that the parliament uh, adjourned, he has been in the constituency attempting to have, have, to have developmental meetings, CDF meetings, 
but the police has been on his neck through and through against the provisions of the law, against multiple rulings from the courts, including in, on the floor of parliament by the speaker, that a member of parliament does not require to even notify the police where still get permission from the police to hold meetings. That development has been undertaken to disadvantage patriotic front members of parliament in a scrutiny that they are taking in their respective constituencies. That is very sad and we want to condemn as patriotic front those um, activities by the police. <coughs> Chitambo, leave the member of parliament alone. And other constituencies where the police have been harassing our members of parliament. Uh, we, of course, are pursuing matters to do with the sham uh, process of uh, nomination, nomination for members, uh, for councillors um, in Masabombo, in Kayo, in Mpika, and in Shwangandu, where uh, the ECZ uh, has uh, uh, exhibited all the fears or manifested all the fears that the Zambian people raised when the cadres of UPND were appointed as commissioners. Madam you know, Mangarazaromis, Magdona Chipenzi and others who are known UPND cadres. They have polarized the institution. It's no longer following the law. It is actually just following and obeying you know, orders from those in the executive. And um, we see the UPND celebrating uh, what uh, is rumored to be happening in DRC, where there are suggestions that the incumbent there has uh, uh, di in indicated that you refuse to concede defeat. And they think that that can be replicated in Zambia. We want to own the UPND. DRC is a different jurisdiction altogether. But in Zambia, such rumors and such tricks can never work. Mizaka in the Ichirema must begin to prepare himself to pack. The good thing is that he, he decided not even to get into status. He should be prepared to pack that chair he moves around with, for whatever reason, whether it's Juju or whatever. He should prepare to get that chair and a few fouls because he has done nothing. I don't think even the fouls in the drawers can, you know, be one that he needs to pack more than, you know, five, ten minutes because he has achieved nothing. There are no even uh, fouls to talk about. He must prepare himself to leave and concede defeat because the Zambian people have already resolved that we want to go everywhere. Because he has really tormented all of us. He keeps on trying to suggest that he, um, through his proxies that issues to do with the tribalism, he wants to attribute it to patriotic fund. A tribal political party that is known in this country is UPND. And the tribalists that we know in this country is Mr. Kainde Israel. What he says, what he has done, the appointments he has made, even just a simple question about uh, his relationship with Vice President. The statement that he issued only goes to speak that is coming from deep down his heart, the heart of a tribalist. How can you start suggesting? If the people say that you, Misaka in the HLMA, you are not the right president, then you want to invite the entire tribe that you come from, that they are saying that the Tongas are the ones that people don't want to be president. No, Guana. Nduo Rike, Goamba Gutevo, told him president, told the who are president because we are too pay. Chubamba Vena Zambia. So when they say Misaka in the HLMA are tribalists, it doesn't mean that all Tongas are tribalists. Yes, we know that there are tribalists in every, every tribe every direct but when you single out an individual doesn't mean it is the entire tribe they are good people in southern province southern province has produced brilliant leaders like him Mainza chona elijah mudenda Man, eh, anderson mazoka venon mwanga you know ben winger these were fantastic leaders coming from southern province nobody had any complaint how is it that you being singled out to be a tribalist you want to get all of us implicated by that let your sins follow you as an individual. And this is a language of wanting to suggest who are you, you know, to be thinking that you are the only one who can produce a president. If they have brilliant fellows in that region, they can produce as many presidents as they can. 
because they have possibly the quality that is required for that office. You have embarrassed us, especially that you want to purport to be the first to be president. Though we have produced vice presidents, we have produced prime ministers, who have performed very well from southern province. So to Aga Gamaga nine, this that is going on should not be tolerated. Of course, we are going to come with a full press briefing to deal with all these matters, but it is just important that we preempt this attempt to go and raid the former president's residence for Zambian people to know. May God bless and thank you very much. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.